Um, I'm Steven Everett, and I'm gonna teach you about fire safety so you don't burn down your house in the future. So step one is very important and is to make sure you don't have any flammable objects um, near or around your fire. Um, whether you're lighting a candle or you're making a fireplace, um, you need to make sure there's no flammable objects around your fire. And some examples are paper, uh, maybe like clothes or pillows or blankets, or um, like any type of styrofoam cups that you may have lying around your room or stuff like that. Yeah, that's a very important step. Now we can start by lighting our fire. Um, so once you've cleared the area, you can begin to light your fire. So right here I have a lighter. Um, this thing, all you do to get the flame, hold it away from your face. You hold this down and you click this. And then with being very careful, you get it, and you hold it on the fire, and then you let go. And now you have a fire. Now, that is a very crucial step, because um, if you hold it too close to your face, you might let your hair on fire, and that would not be good. Um, but... As long as you hold it away from your face and be very cautious and have an adult present to make sure you don't hurt yourself, then you should be okay. Now I'm going to show you some good places to put a candle and some bad places to put a candle. So a good place to put a candle is on the edge of a desk because there's not too much flammable stuff within reach of the fire. A bad place to put a candle would be in the middle of your bed and leave it there. Um, that would probably cause a fire. Um, another bad place to put a candle would be uh, inside your hamper because there's a lot of loose clothes and stuff, which could cause a fire and would burn your house down and you would have nowhere to live. Um, here's a rule that I like to follow when... I have candles active in the house. Um, the rule is, is that if you can't see the candle and you're gonna be gone for more than a few minutes, you should blow it out. Um, it's not worth, you know, going a run to HEB and leaving a candle on. Even in a safe spot, you never know. A cat could come over and knock it over or something and you would burn your house down. It's always safer just to blow it out and then relight it once you can see the candle at all times. So here's an example. I'm gonna go fill up my Fortnite cup with water because I'm thirsty and I might go eat some dinner, but I have a candle here with no hazards, but I'm still <sighs> gonna blow it out because it's better to be safe than sorry. I'm back. And I filled my Fortnite cup with water and ice. And now I'm just going to be hanging out in my room. So I'm going to light the candle again. Remember, hold it away from your face. And be ultra careful. 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 Phew. And just like that, you have a candle. And... You also want to make sure you don't fall asleep with one of those things on um, for obvious reasons, but, um, you know, houses burn down a lot more than you think because of candles that people forget to, to um, blow out. Also, if you're going to be lighting a candle with a match, because, you know, these are pretty fancy, I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't have one. 
but if you have a match, I would be sure to maybe run it under water before throwing it away once you blow it out because one time I lit a candle with the, with the lighter, I don't know, with the match and I just blew it out and tossed it in the trash can and I caught the trash can on fire. So you wanna make sure to run it under some water and then put it in the trash can just to be sure you don't burn your house down. So I got some matchsticks. I'm gonna show you what you should do when using a matchstick to light a candle. Get one out. Then go to one of the sides, this thing. Be careful. Oh, motherfucker. Um, these are pretty small, so it's hard to get down in there, but let's just say I lit it. And then I'm going to throw this away. But first, I'm going to go over here. Make sure it's all gone should be able to put your finger on it. Yeah. Then it's safe to throw it in a trash can. And that's my guide to safe, to fire safety and not burning your house down. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, have a good day.